Welcome back everyone, my name is EJ Walker and we are back in Kona today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't seen the last few parts, I'd definitely recommend checking them out. Um, yeah, we're just going to pick up where we left off last time and uh, get started and try to figure out what's going on. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into it. Alright guys, we're back. So last time we left off in the House of the Patriot... Um, yeah, <laughs> he was an interesting guy, from what we can tell. Um, yeah, we did find this station where we could prepare caribou, though, to trade to the crazy old guy for a coat. Um, apparently we need, oh, what was it? It was like, oh wait, hold on. I think I have the recipe. Aha! Uh -huh. White whiskey and sherry wine. And I don't have either of those. So we'll see if I end up making it and getting a coat. You I don't had know. To be out of your mind to cook up white Crap. whiskey at home. The I don't know if I need stench of alcohol if I need the coat for like the story or anything. Like if I need it to progress. But uh yeah, if I definitely if I find the ingredients I'll definitely come back and make it. But I honestly don't even know where to look for that, so but yeah, let's see. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go um, down to this last house on the street. And then we'll come back up and we'll probably just go all the way up to Hamilton's house and see what's going on there. Because um, he's the entire reason we came to this place and we haven't even been to his house yet. So um, we're going to go check that out. But right after we... Get if the Harl heck out of Dodge. Any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. Yeah, you're right, strange narrator man. All right, so we're gonna take a left. So yeah, last part we found the old guy, which was kind of refreshing actually, even though he shot at us. Um, nice to see that there are actual living people in this game and in this town. So that was kind of a neat little time there. What is this? What was that? What was that? Let's investigate. Alright, cool. Got some tools. What's this? Oh, good. A little campsite? Oh, cool. Alright. Just start a fire in the woods. So I keep... I basically see wolf tracks, like, everywhere I go now. Which is a little trippy, but... And part of me is like, you know what, screw it. We're just going to follow the tracks and see what happens. But then the pansy side of me is like, no, what are you thinking? That is the actually the last thing we're going to do, is follow those stupid tracks. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay. Hold on. Carl is stressed. Oh, I can't. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Carl. You gotta get out of your truck before you can drink something. I guess I could smoke a... Smoke a cigarette. I have like a million of them. Painkiller. Don't need one right now. What's freaky to me is... Like, we obviously have a health meter. Like, we have a health bar. And that might just be because we, if we get too cold or whatever, our health can start to go down. But it obviously plans on you fighting something. And we haven't fought anything yet, so I'm just, like, waiting for everything to hit the fan and for us to have to fight something. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. 
Um, if there's a weird cut, my recording just stopped for some reason. So, uh, yeah, we're back on track. And I forgot what I was saying. Anyway. So, yeah, we're just going to check out this house down here. I noticed that little symbol on the side of the map on the way here, but I think that's just that campsite we just went to. So, I'm going to go check out this house down here and see what is up. See what's going on. What in the world? Is this place fenced off? What's going on? Sometimes, and especially around here. People are so possessive with their land, as a dog is with hydrants. Alright. Well, how do we get in? Ooh. Oh. Here's your spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski do. This model. Okay. Spark plug. Cool. Well, that lock didn't work. And close that. The Moth's Garage. Well, I already see some of that ice. What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. Snowmobile ski. Were you gonna ride a snowmobile? Oh, that doesn't look good. Well, this truck's not going anywhere. Where were the amputated parts? Carl grinned as he pictured a Frankenstein-esque car lying around somewhere made of parts from a dozen different vehicles. Uh... Yeah, this does not look good. Hamilton, you are a piece of chicken. Nailed it. Oh no, not again. I can see him. He's frozen with fear. Another worrisome victim of this ice. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? Oh boy, guys, here we go. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. Yeah, this guy's straight up building a freaking UFO in here. Alright, um... I need... I need to light a fire. I was hoping there'd be a fireplace in here. What's that? Nope. Appearances, Carl concluded. The owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage. Peculiar man indeed. Something isn't right when your bed's in your garage. That's probably true. Okay. 
The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. Well, it is here. I have it. Alright, guys. I'm anticipating another vision. Let's do it. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Well... So this guy got freaking wrecked. Yeah, that guy is right. I do not know how to reach it. Carl wondered how long he would have to oh enjoy my this gosh. thin skin Chill gold. out, bro. Headlight. Hmm. All right. I think if I oops. Never mind. I thought for some reason that cigarette would warm me up. Someone was expecting an important call. In any case, that person's in for a long wait. Carl already right. noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area. I just need to get in here and start a fire. Okay. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? What pins? Oh. These pins. Well, there's a big hint. Points of interest. So, I see two... three pins. Oops. Secret project. Was that there before? In cave? Ice cave? Yo. Our map is like updating. Okay, cool. So, secret project. Need to go see that. Freaking ice cave. Yes, please. Definitely something I want to do. And cave. Did we already go to the cave, though? No. That's just there. Okay. So, yeah, our map is now updated. Roswell. Atamipec. Same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Okay. So this guy's claiming that someone came from space. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? 
to protect against nuclear waves? So this guy is kind of crazy. The man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. Ooh, a hammer. Cool. Oops. Stealing road signs is prohibited by law. What is that? not finding anything in these drawers. These scribblings were undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. What in the world? These scribblings were undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. This guy's got garlic hanging from the ceiling? If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. Oh, heck yeah, that's what I'm doing. Getting out of town. Alright, so... Found a couple snowmobile skis. And there's a snowmobile. By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Place light and handlebars, okay. Place track. Oh, dude, we're totally building this thing right now. Oh, okay. Crap. That means I'm gonna have to go find a gas can at some other place, bring it back here. I couldn't ever pick one up. Alright, oh, here we go. Here's the track. Okay, what's in here? So now we need the bench and the handlebars. I think that's it. And then we need to fill up the gas can, but. Wow, look at this. Oh, okay. How relaxing. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. Oh, okay. Basically the game telling me I'm doing a crappy job. Alright, handlebars. Where are you at? Stupid wind chimes, man. Creepy. Dude probably threw the freaking keys to the s 
snowmobile up in the bucket. handlebars are. Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright. he would have to endure this skin stinging cold oh boy look at us go what is it I saw something Carl in the had woods no idea how to interpret a message like that on the surface it seemed like he had one half too many of this puzzle enough to know he shouldn't take this testimony as gospel the entire thing being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton Seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. Wow. Well, guys. The plot is certainly thickening. Jump. Jump, Carl. Jump. Jump. Gotta get you back inside before you freaking die on me. Okay, so Hamilton apparently killed somebody. So somebody killed Hamilton. Oh, I already investigated this. I'm stupid. Huh. I mean. Not that murder's ever okay, but I mean, it makes sense. If you killed somebody and then somebody else decided to kill you. Maybe you shouldn't be killing people, Hamilton. Hamilton, I won't be your dog anymore. Okay. The milk was sorted by color, from the whitest to the greenest, or in other words, from the precious to like, the Why is it green and, and like at all? All right, guys, I think I may stop it right here. And then we will start investigating the secret project and the ice cave. And then the cave. Ah, there's just so much that keeps happening. Then the cave, and then we'll go up to Hamilton's house. Hamilton the murderer. And I'm sure as we drive along, we'll probably, the map will probably update with stuff along the way. So we're probably not even going to get Hamilton's house that quick. But, wishful thinking. But let's just review our journal real quick. Because we've discovered quite a bit now. Okay. So, car crash. Who was the driver? We got the box. What we're thinking is that it was the doctor, um, because his wife is dead. Um, let's see. Okay, in the box I found a state affair. Hamilton wanted to expose some shady activity by enemies of democracy. So yeah, whoever's in the car is the person that killed Hamilton. Keep finding this ice everywhere. Not really sure what. Oh, excuse me. Not really sure what's going on. Um, caribou footprints. Oh, because the alien guy said it's like half man, half wolf, half caribou. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we saw the vision at the Lachance's house. 
Oh, we still need to open his safe. Gosh dang it. So much to do. Okay. Um, those people escaped. Alright, well I got a hold of the paper. Okay. That was the Patriot guy. Seems like Lamoth was Hamilton's minion. Maybe the subservient not only wanted to be free from his master's rule, but also wanted to destroy him completely. Murder. Hamilton had committed murder. Is the mechanic to be trusted? I know fresh blood when I see it. Look at that picture of fresh blood. Yeah, it's someone's hunting. So obviously these are all different locations of these arrows. So someone is hunting this thing. These are all just the people I've found out about. Not sure how he knows what they look like. Oh, from pictures. Heh, <laughs> stupid. So yeah, there's clearly stuff I haven't found that would fill in the blanks for this. Maybe we'll discover that more. Seems something terrible happened to her. Interesting. Well, guys, yeah, a lot, a lot happened. Got another vision. That was pretty cool. These stupid wind chimes. We're just gonna end the part in this creepy dude's house. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this part of Kona. Um, we'll be back soon to continue our investigation to see what's going on around here. Um, yeah, crazy stuff going on. But again, thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, have a good one. Peace.